stay, stay buckled in because uh, it's going to be a wild ride. 2019 is right around the corner, so I can't wait. And he says he wants his next fight to be here in the 808. And because of his latest push, many are wondering, could it happen after his latest win? Nikki Schenfeld looks into the possibility of bringing UFC to Hawaii. After his big win against Brian Ortega Saturday, Max once again made it clear to Dana White he wants to bring UFC to Hawaii, and his fans agree. Well, I think Max deserves it. I mean, he's been wanting to have the fight down here for so long, and Oahu is his home, his home ground, so I think he deserves to have the fight here. The UFC and Hawaii Tourism Authority discussed the possibility earlier this year, but according to the HTA, the UFC proposed a fight card which would require a $6 million sponsorship fee, which is more than the HTA paid to host the Pro Bowl. When they go to other venues, Vegas and New York, they get no subsidies from those towns and municipalities. I mean, you look at this past month, you have Bruno Mars coming here, you had the Eagles come here, you had Guns N' Roses come here, all with no state subsidy. They came here because it made good business sense. The UFC should come here because it makes good business sense. UFC President Dana White told R. Rob DeMello in April that he supports the idea of a Hawaii fight, but Hawaii had pulled out of a close deal. Wakai saying a fight in Hawaii would easily sell out. You look at Bruno Mars, right? 35,000. I think that's totally within reason for Max Holloway to pull into that stadium. Wakai says the HTA did pay fees for the Clippers and LA Rams to come to Hawaii, but it was nowhere close to the $6 million the UFC requested. Uh, but uh, we can fix the stadium to Dana White's liking, but really, come here because Max Holloway deserves it. The people of Hawaii deserve it. The HTA says another factor is the time frame. They would ideally like the event to be held during off-peak travel, so more airline seats and hotel rooms are available. We reached out to the UFC and HTA to see if talks have been planned or a negotiation price. We'll let you know when we hear back. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.